Good evening, St. John's. While I was on my sailing trip, one of the books I read was called Just Mercy. It was an extraordinary book about justice, uh, particularly in the criminal courts. And there's one story that's told uh, where a man is clearly innocent, but he's been on death row for years. Uh, and there's another trial coming up where evidence is going to be given uh, to prove his innocence. He's an African-American man. It takes place in Alabama. And there's many member f members of the African-American community where he's from who are coming uh, just to sit in the public boxes to watch what's happening. Uh, but they don't want too many of them there. Uh, they don't want the intimidation of their presence. And so they've put up metal detectors and police dogs and other intimidating things. And one woman was selected to represent her community, and she's this older, dignified woman, the type of woman who, as soon as she enters a room, you feel her presence. And the story's told she's walking down the center aisle, and everyone turns around because they could just feel her presence. And she has this carriage and dignity about her as she's walking forward uh, to bear witness to justice. And then she reaches the point where there's the metal detector and a police dog, and something in her crumples. And she can't move forward, and she stands there for a while fighting against it before she finally says, I can't do it, and leaves. Her daughter tells the story that that night uh, her mother was awake all night in her room, and she could hear her in the room praying, praying, praying to God all night for the strength to go be witness at this trial the next day. Um, and sure enough, she shows up the next day, her scarf on, her hat on. She walks bravely down the center aisle. She gets to the point where the dogs are. She girds herself and says, I ain't afraid of no dogs. And she walks through. And what makes it so extraordinary is that she was one of the protesters at the Selma Bridge when they uh, put the police dogs on them and was attacked by police dogs. But she was at this moment in history where she wanted to see it reversed, to see it turned around. And why I'm telling you this story is this image of her awake all night and praying. I've never had a moment in my life like that where I've been drawn to such earnest prayer. And so there's nothing about my story tonight that's trying to make you feel bad that you don't pray like that. Uh, to the contrary, it's to paint this picture of what we turn to God for. That this was a woman raised in Alabama, uh, Jim Crow, Alabama, had known discrimination all her life had suffered for it, been attacked by dogs for it. Um, and she had been formed by it, deeply scarred in body and soul uh, by what a dog could do to you when it's unleashed on you. And she had this moment to watch history reverse, to watch an innocent man go free. She was a member of her community who was invited to bear witness to it. And she sought God out to give her the strength to overcome her past, her fears and her scars, to stand up for something true and worthy. And I think this is what we go to prayer for, uh, that we might be changed. Not to take all the scars away. Once we've got a scar, we've got a scar. But to be able to stand in the face of a scar and say, God, let me walk through. Let me hope and be present and participant in something bigger and truer, holier, redeeming. And that's this picture I have of this woman and the picture I carry with me now of what I'm looking for in this life, for me, for our church, for the world. That yes, we're scarred, but that we would seek out God to give us the strength to walk forward. And I ain't afraid of no dogs. So let's pray. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts, even while they sleep. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good for our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us of this planet Earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love which is unbounded and eternal. O thou, most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, 
my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. O oh God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being. All that we are, have been, and shall be is known to you, to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us. Cleansing wind, blow through us. Fountain of water, well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. Psalm 4 Answer me when I call, O God, for you are the God of justice. You set me free when I was hard-pressed. Be gracious to me now and hear my prayers. Men and women, how long will you turn my glory to my shame? How long will you love what is worthless and run after lies? Know that God has shown me such wonderful kindness. When I call out in prayer, God hears me. Tremble, admit defeat, and sin no more. Look deep into your heart before you sleep and be still. Bring your gifts just as you are and put your trust in God. Many are asking, who can make us content? The light of your countenance is gone from us, O God. Yet you have given my heart more gladness than those whose corn and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace, and sleep comes at once. For in you alone, O God, do I dwell unafraid. A reading from Matthew. Do not ask anxiously, what are we to eat, what are we to drink, what shall we wear? The whole world runs after such things. Set your heart and mind on God's commonwealth and justice first, and all the rest will come to you as well. So do not be anxious about tomorrow. Today has enough problems of its own. Tomorrow can look after itself. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God, of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Preserve, Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and to sleep may rest in your peace. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day, God's promises fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I will lie down in peace and take my rest. For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star. Glorified and exalted above all forever. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The light heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. O God, strengthen your servants with your heavenly grace, that we may continue yours forever, and daily increase in your Holy Spirit more and more, until we come to your everlasting kingdom. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. Good night, Kick Harbor.